What's up guys, Cummins Kyle here, here to bring you another one. Happy Sunday. So, uh, anyway, so the headlight went out bad, whatever you want to say. As you can see, it's on right here. Uh, the fog's working. That is not working. And this one's working, and that one's working. So, as you can see, it's just a um, driver's side bulb uh, within the headlight. So, we're going to rip the headlight out. I just took off this bulb right here. and pull the headlight out. I don't know if you guys can see any of that. All right, so that's unclipped. I think I'm just gonna take off the fend the bumper plastic so we can get to this better and pull it out without scratching all the fender all up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right. Yeah, every base, everyone with a stock bumper basically has this problem where the plastic always likes to do whatever it wants to. All right, guys, sorry the camera's being really stupid. It like, something happened. The file's corrupted for the video. Um, hopefully they're not gonna corrupt now. Looks like it's running. All right, so um, So now the low beams work on both sides the fog lights also work But when I switch to the high beams the passenger side doesn't work which pisses me off um, I don't know maybe I shorted it out or something um, Just annoying either way. I guess I was gonna replace them eventually and now that's you know It's fine because now everything's all you know, taking a power and it's easy to go back and now put those bulbs in because it will take two seconds. Uh, so I'm going to go to Advanced Auto. I'll see you guys when I get there. We're going to pick up some high beams. Peace out. And then as, I, as I'm driving there, I wanted to mention, um, if I guess that video got corrupted too, so uh, I just wanted to mention that my headlights are put on relays. I got a relay kit from AMC, or not AMC, LMCTruck.com. Uh, what was happening was with the high beams on, the headlights would start to flicker after like a half hour of them being on or whatever so what I went ahead and uh, did was replace the headlight switch I did that one or two times um, and the problem would keep coming back um, so what I did was you know of course bought the relay kit and now the amount of voltage going to the switch is being controlled with the what the heck is it called uh, with the relays um, so maybe my headlight problems are more than just bulbs. Um, I don't think they are. It's definitely just the bulbs. Um, but what I'm definitely going to do is order a set of relays, a backup set of relays for my current set. And then if we have a problem down the road or if I'm on a road trip, my headlights start to flicker. You know, we simply pull over, turn the truck off, replace the relay, which is literally just as simple as plugging, you know, taking out and plugging back in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. But anyways, let's see what Advanced Auto. All right, after another fucking fifty dollars, we got uh, Silver Star Ultras, Super White, whatever the hell, uh, for the high beams too. Um, so yeah, it's getting dark now, so we gotta beat the sun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the house. Peace. All right, we just got back. We're gonna freaking take these lights out and get this thing done quick, quick. Whoa. All right, boom, one of two done. Getting dark as shit. All right, guys, I'm pretty pissed off. It's basically dark. Um, you can see the both fog lights work now, but the switch is all the way out and no headlights at all. No high beams either. When I pull the headlight switch out or I put the headlights on, like the high beams on, you hear a click that's coming from the relays. So I think the source of the headlight problems might actually just be the relays. Um, because everything's wired correctly, the lights are in correctly. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just start it up. Let it run for a little bit because I've been draining the battery, keeping the lights on. And uh, I'm going to button this up, put some zip ties on it. Who knows, maybe the lights will come on. Either way, the new relays are on the way. I just ordered them. This is what they look like right here. So. Yep. Alright guys. Hang tight. So for, I guess you can say a continuation of the headlight video, 
um, well, part of this is as I'm waiting for these relays to come for these lights, I'm actually going to rip this one off um, because the low beam flickers when I hit a bump. So I'm going to go back in there and make sure everything is in there tight. And then we're going to make sure the connection's good. Um, and that will confirm that the connection's good there and that it is indeed a relay. So I'm going to rip this out again. And uh, yeah, we'll put that in there. These are the relays I'm talking about. These, Both of these are bad. Um, so Saturday, they're supposed to be here. Um, so when they get here, I'll put them on, put them on and hopefully that's 100% the fix. But like I said, we're going to jump into this, take this off yet again, and make sure everything's good. So we're literally just pushing this back in. We took it out once. Well, we took it out just now. So that's clearly in there tight. Only thing questionable to me would be right there. Um, only thing I can do there is put a little bit piece of solder or something. You don't want to touch these bulbs. So yeah, I'm going to take a bit of solder, put it on there. Can't hurt. Can only make the connection better. And uh, yeah. How convenient. Someone left it out literally right here. Soldering equipment. Beautiful. Doesn't make sense how they set this up. They literally make it so this could honestly just pop right out. I guess that's right. And she slides right out. So. Literally, that's a perfect connection. So being that both of the high beams aren't working, I'm assuming it's the relay I have for the high beams. That's the only thing else it, it could be because everything worked prior to, uh, you know, actually the relay must have gone bad. So everything worked and then the relay went bad. Son of a bitch on Christmas. All right. All right. That's probably hot now. I see smoke coming off of it. I'm going to put these bolts back in. Screws, whatever. And then we're going to solder this. Peace. All right. So hopefully you guys can see this. So both of these are now working, but watch this one. All right, now that these both work, the connection is better. Um, we're still waiting on the relay for the high beams and the low beams, because I guess they're both kind of shot. Um, and, or the connection's really weak. Because that required like an amazing connection to stay lit, so. All right, yo, so we made some progress yesterday. We made some progress yesterday with the truck. We got both of the low beams working. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that nose. We got both of the low beams working, one of the high beams working. Um, 
the relays weren't supposed to show up until tomorrow, but I come home and look what I see. LMC truck box, baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace these relays really quick, um, just to show you guys once again what the, the status of the lights. Let me turn them on. Boom. Work, 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 work. And now when I turn the high beams on, doesn't work, works. So I'm gonna simply replace the relay and see if that affects anything. If it does not, I'm going to go ahead and mess with the wiring in this right here, this headlight. All right, let's see what we got, boss. Boom, perfect, here are the relays. I ordered two, thank God, because I thought they came in pairs, so I wanted to have a backup and then this one. So I paid freaking 20 bucks for these two relays. So let's see if this fixes the problem. So here are the old relays, compared to a new one on the left. Should probably buy a um, relay tester in the future, so I don't have to go ahead and buy one or use ones. Um, if they're still good. So let's pop these on real quick. Nothing much to see here. Just plug and play. Literally, I just plug them into this. Not a hard thing to do. And the moment of truth. Regular high beams or regular low beams. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Here we go. High beams. Nothing. And we got a light. So this means we have a short somewhere within the wiring harness or how the bulb is sitting. I'm gonna pull this one off real quick and we're gonna get it working. So I'm literally just going through the same process as this light as I did yesterday to get it to work. I'm um, taking this out. The connections in the back are secure. So I know that is not an issue. Also going to be spraying these with electrical grease and boom, you can see it works. So I guess the connections in the back are definitely bad because after squeezing all of these together, it starts to work. So going to pull it out anyways, make sure the high beam is seated in there nicely. And then I'm going to, yeah, spray some more grease on there and maybe even place a zip tie or something to keep these connections together because these clips might be bad or something. But yeah, it works. So same course of action, except no soldering needing because the connection is just like this. It isn't like that with a little wiring. Um, so yeah, duct tape, baby, duct tape. Actually, Gorilla Tape, because we're fucking serious. All right, time to rig it some more with Gorilla Tape right here to hold it down. This one's good, soldered up. All right. So word of advice for you guys. Do not buy $260 extreme diesel power headlights. Do not buy any expensive headlights. Do yourself a favor. Go on eBay. Buy the cheap ones. All right. So we just got them back in. Of course, we got to put the bumper plastic back together. Um, we have the brand new relays on. This was not the culprit of the problem. Um, the high beams now work as you guys can see All right now, let me put back on the low beams just as proof that both now work Beautiful But anyways guys luckily we got it all worked out after a couple days of messing with them just thinking how I can fix the problem At the end of the day freaking trusty duct tape does the job I hate the fact that it's rigged, but at the same time, it's it's reliably rigged. Um, but besides that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Comments, Kyle out. Peace.